The Nequa Valley Wildcats head to DeKalb for a Week 8 DVC matchup with the 6-1 Wildcats looking to boost their playoff resume. Big news for Nequa is that quarterback Mark Menneke is back in the lineup after being sidelined the past five weeks with multiple fractures in his right foot. After a Wildcat punt, the Barbs look to send the ball back to Nequa, but they call a fake. QB and punter Adrian McVicker picks up a new set of downs on the scramble. A couple plays later, McVicker drops back and takes a big hit as he throws. Receiver Ethan McCarter goes up for the 50-50 ball and hauls it in. The big third down snag sets the ball inside the 10. Now on the one yard line, McVicker calls his own number and plows his way through for the score. Barb's up 7-0 with just over seven minutes left in the first. The Wildcat offense is forced to punt again, but their defense is able to provide a spark. Justin Duckowitz gets credited for the sack. Now with under two minutes left in the first, Menneke drops back and throws the ball to Ryan Adams, but it's underthrown and picked off. The interception sets up good field position for DeKalb. Now into the second, McVicker throws the ball up to McCarter, and he comes down with a beautiful catch. The grab extends the Cavs' lead to 14-0 with 10 minutes left in the first half. Wildcats on the next possession are looking to get their offense going. Menneke rolls out and throws the ball in double coverage, but Grant Larkin is able to bring it down for the catch. Menneke back to pass again on third down and long as he scrambles out to his left and fumbles before recovering the ball. He's down holding onto his leg and would not return to the game. He just can't catch a break. Ryan Moeller back in at QB and pitches it to Larkin, but he gets the ball stripped by a barbed defender and they take it 50 yards into Nequa territory. DeKalb still up 14-0 with just under five to play in the first half. McVicker looks to get something out of the turnover, but he causes one of his own. Peyton Cool is there for the interception, but the Wildcats can't score before half. Into the third quarter, McVicker gets the snap and gets rushed by the Wildcat defense. Adam Filburn and Duckowitz are in on the sack. Wildcats now looking to score after a penalty took away a touchdown on the previous play. Moeller tries to find Carter Stare, but the ball is not in reach. The Cal takes over and uses some clock. Into the fourth quarter and on fourth down, Moeller heaves the ball to Larkin, who shows off his vertical, but is unable to bring in the catch, and the Wildcats can't pull off a comeback. DeKal pulls off a huge upset and a big time win, 14-0, to improve to 5-3, while Nequa falls to 6-2 on the season. I, I thought we were well prepared for the game. You know, our starting quarterback went down. Uh, back of the quarterback came in, he had the next man mentality. He did, he did his job. It just didn't go our way tonight. We'll bounce back next week and we're going into the playoffs. So big things coming. Uh, nothing changes. I mean, I have full confidence in Ryan. He's, he led us, I guess, the last five games. And did, I mean, he went 5 0 as a starter and did perfectly fine. I have full trust in him, just like I do Mark. And, uh, we're going to play the rest of the season or the rest of the games with, Mark, with or without Mark and uh, praise up to him. So.